Welcome back to Hi from Hanan, the penultimate stage of the 2011 Tour of Hanan here in Dongfang. I'm talking with John O'Brakefeld, the team manager of Draypack Professional Cycling. John O, can I just have some comments on how you think this race has been for Draypack Professional Cycling? Oh, it has been a good race. It's been probably not so lucky with the brakes. A couple of good moves the boys got into just didn't stick. We're very unfortunate to have Tom fall and then obviously fall sick as well. So yeah. the boys are riding strong and they're really positive and so you get some carried to the fall. Yeah. So it perhaps hasn't gone our way, but I mean there's yeah. still two days left and we still have three riders that are close on GC, so you never know what's going to happen. There's some yeah. tired bodies. Yeah, yeah. I know you've got a different makeup here with your team compared to the Sun Tour. Does that affect, though, like some of the riders who are here riding the Sun Tour? So. Has that affected them in, in any way? Like? Uh, it's probably good. I mean, it, it probably brings them into some better form. Yep. But it, and then for the guys that, and, but then it also brings some fresh legs into the team as well. So it's, it's a little bit mixed. It would have been nice maybe to have Reese here as well, but yeah. I wasn't able to make it. Yeah. yeah, I think it's good. And yeah. It has some positive but we've gone from one contrast to another. I mean, they're completely different races. It's not only on the road for the riders, but also off the road with food, accommodation, communication. It must be difficult over here from the Australian team to yeah. deal with the food and the accommodation and the communication. Yeah, it gets frustrating, I think. Yeah. More for the riders as well, I mean, you know, it's, it's harder to recover with the conditions and then when you're not always knowing what you're eating and it's, it's harder to get exactly what they need as well. Yes, yeah, it's, it's definitely harder on the riders. It's harder to recover and harder to um, use endure, especially being a nine-day tour as well. You need some quality recovery, but it's been good. The organisation is very good and they, they try very hard to look after the riders. So it's, yeah, and what's next on the on the scene on the agenda for Dry Pack Professional Cycling? We have uh, the Taiwan Cup in uh, Taiwan, and then the week after we go to Japan to Okinawa for the, the Tour of Okinawa. Yeah, and then that'll take us into into November, and then that's nearly it. In terms of UCI races, that'll be the finish. We have a Criterium Series and then the Training Camp in December. So. Will you use the same makeup, the same team lineup? Uh, the five riders going to Taiwan and Japan will be five from here, so yeah. it'll be Stu. Amir, Adam Simple, uh, Adam Thielen, and yep. Tom Palmer. So. Okay. And what's the first thing you would like to do when you get back to Australia, John? Have coffee. A Have real coffee. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hard over here with the coffee, isn't it? Coffee and breakfast, I find breakfast. Yeah. I don't, the same meal three times a day is, just doesn't work. Yeah, it <laughs> takes its soul on everybody but surely it must take its toll on the riders I mean yeah, I just for morale a bit and yeah I think yeah, like nutrition a little bit but this is the mental thing you know to have to break it up when you're having noodles and rice three times a day I think it gets pretty monotonous and for them yeah. it's, it's hard so I mean they go home in a few days and they get to refresh and then back to Asia for some more racing so yeah, yeah. that'll be right alright well John thanks for joining us on the high from Hanan 2011 tour of Hanan and good luck for your next venture on the road thanks